The Bell 360 Invictus is revolutionizing attack reconnaissance capabilities to enhance the ground. Maneuver Commander's mission and fulfill the U.S. Army's future attack reconnaissance aircraft. The aircraft leverages a common open architecture digital backbone comparable to the Bell V-80. Valor to give the U.S. Army an always ready advantage with an unbeatable fleet, whether in the urban canyons of the Megacity or rugged rural terrain. The design of the Bell 360 Invictus delivers advanced speed, range, and agility. The 3D Digital Twin will serve as a common data source as it helps in monitoring survivability and supporting test scenarios for evolving battlefield technology. The advanced helicopter is being offered for the U.S. Army's future attack reconnaissance aircraft program, which mainly aims to replace the Army's H-65 Apache and OH-58D Kiowa Warrior helicopters. The rotorcraft's design will be based on the Bell 525 Relentless Aircraft, which will feature hydraulic pump and reservoir assemblies, the robust articulated rotor, lift-sharing wing, and optimized tail rotor ensure effective attack and reconnaissance operations in both urban and rural areas. The helicopter will accommodate a pilot and a gunner. The Bell 360 Invictus supports a 20mm cannon and an internal payload that features a modular effects launcher to accommodate current and future ordnance. The combination of advanced sensors and air-launched effects elevates situational awareness and increases lethality across the multi-domain spectrum. The Bell 360 Invictus will be powered by General Electric's T901 turboshaft engine which will serve as the main power unit. The helicopter will be able to fly at a maximum cruise speed of 180,000 and offer a range of approximately 135 nanometers with more than 90 minutes of time on station. Bell isn't expecting the arrival of the General Electric T901 engine for the 360 Invictus until this fall, pushing back its timetable for the first flight of the aircraft to 2024. The aircraft will enter service in 2028 with a target price of 30 million United States dollars per aircraft. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more military technology updates.